bright. I'm excited. Okay. So here I am today, trying to figure out something which I should have done last year, and that is resin. These are the two liquids, the epoxy resins that I had bought from Amazon last year, and um, I never got the right day to really <laughs> go for it. So I am going to start with something very small today because this is my first time. I don't want to take drastic projects. Uh, as you can see, I have a few twigs and little leaves from the garden right across there. So I will see how I use these flowers. So these are some molds that I had ordered with the resin here. These are mostly to measure pour in this and then stir. So that's how I'm going to be using it. So I'm trying to do something with these in this little mold here. And we'll see how that goes. Some more tools just to put things. I am going to be using part A and part B in a ratio of 3 to 1. So let's begin. Let's see if this needs any shaking to be done. Okay. I am, oh, I am supposed to wear gloves but I don't have any so I am going to take that risk today. Okay, now three parts of this, one part of this, since I'm working on such a small mold, I will see if I can uh, work out a smaller measurement like probably one ml of the part B and probably three ml of part A. Let's begin with part B. I think this is the only scary part. This comes easy. So, this is approximately slightly more than 1 ml, but this is what I'm going to use as. And quickly close this. 3 ml of this, so basically 3 parts of the ratio. So I am basically going to fill this not all the way up, but just till it touches there. Yep. Okay. And now I also carefully. This. So my job for these two bottles is done. And I've heard you have to be quite quick with this. It starts drying up real soon. I take out all that I have poured here. This might take a little while but it's important to out every little drop. Alright, now 10 minutes of like real vigorous stirring. You have to ensure there are no bubbles to be seen. And also, once it's done well, you will always see like a very clear liquid. So 
slightly turn it into a lighter liquid. I also have color pigments to go with this which I'll try next time if this is a successful project. Correctly because everything else depends on how well we do this. I want to say that I'm done with this, but 10 minutes is a really long time. So I'm scraping the sides and the bottom really well. I don't want any resin getting stuck to that. So my inner feeling now tells me that it is done. I can't see it getting any different from here. Alright, I think now we are going to begin the process where I am going to pour a little bit of this on the base. This flower is something that might perfectly fit here, so let's just... Some more resin, even on the sides, and then cover the floor. I still have a lot of resin left. Now I got these oh, wild twigs, so I want to also use this. And I have one of these pluckers to easily place them around. And if you notice, I have put this flower uh, facing the bottom of this mold, and that is for a reason because when you unmold it, you will see the bottom as the front. So, another one. Once it's mixed, you have to finish your project in maximum 15 minutes, after which it starts uh, drying out. I'm sure I'll be able to finish it. So as we move on, we keep adding a layer of resin to cover what has been put out there. So I think this is going to add a nice effect of green and nature. I'm going to cut this into smaller parts and use this as a sort of final touch that can be seen from the back of this. I have never tried something like this before so if this turns out well the possibilities seem endless. And 
all I'm doing is setting this up uh, as nicely as I can before this dries up. And now with a pair of scissors, though I don't wish to do it, that's it I don't really feel the need to do so but I am going to use a heat gun to basically remove any bubbles so I do see bubbles I love Right, I think this is it. I have another flower which is dyed. If this turns out well, I'll make another one. So that's all that we needed to do this little project of ours. And look at that! I've also done. Uh, a fluid art with nail polishes it was a video that I did a few days ago this was also a first so if you want you can check that out as well I am going to leave this overnight and come back to it tomorrow around the same time and unmold it for all of you to see so as you can see, I have here both of my cured pieces from earlier and I would like to see what my learnings have been with these two pieces here. So let's talk about the one that we did first. So my four learnings from this piece are one, the resin was less. The things that I put in were a lot more so I could uh, balance out uh, how much I put in the resin. Two, um, it was rather not mixed uh, correctly because uh, there are a lot of hazy bubbles everywhere that makes it look very dark and it's not crystal clear like it's supposed to be so I would give mixing another try. Third would be that um, I use fresh flowers which have further saddened the color of the entire piece because they all have turned pale yellow. My fourth learning would also be that uh, I did not use uh, enough heat gun to really uh, melt or you know push away the bubbles. And we'll talk about that a little bit more in the next piece that you see. So, there it is. Coming to the second one, which looks like a complete crystal clear paradise. It uh, amplifies all these wildflowers beautifully. They look like, you know, some really blooming flowers like there's wind going inside or you know very very serene looking now here when i had uh, mixed this when i was mixing firstly i knew i was mixing the right amount it was not less than uh, required two when I was done mixing, I almost instinctively knew that it has been mixed properly because it was clear and the consistency was just seeming perfect. So, um, it just felt right. Uh, third important thing was when I poured, I poured in a few layers and between every layer I used my heat gun to push away the bubbles. 
fourth thing that I was uh, careful about was uh, not to put a lot of ferns and wildflowers here. So as you can see, I've just used one piece of the fern and just very few flowers around it. So that gives a lot of space overall to the resin to, you know, get clear and um, harden in a transparent crystal way. And uh, this has also reinforced my faith in the resin. If I had not done this piece, I would have probably doubted the resin that I was using and uh, would have thought that you probably picked the wrong and it turns yellow. But no, that's not the case. Both these things are done with the same resin, with almost the same uh, materials and the same mold. But this is my first ever piece. This is the one that I learnt um, from the first one on what not to do. And yeah, this is the result. So guys, here I have also tried another thing. This is uh, made with a different mold with the same kind of flowers and forms. The hint of color that you see here is added with an eyeshadow. So I experimented with some blue and some gold over here. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button, share and subscribe. And if you wish to see more of my upcoming videos, please hit the bell icon so you get a notification as soon as a video is ready. Thank you so much for watching. See you again. Bye.